The first burn compared Roxel mineral wool with glass fiber. Supervising the burn is Mr. Peter Sells, District Chief, Toronto Fire Academy. Inside the block building here is a crib of approximately 120 kilograms of wood, which would be slightly less than representative of a, of a normal fire load. The features that we're going to be watching are essentially these two panels here with the uh, mineral wool and glass fiber insulation in place. The uh, only burning material will be the crib of wood on the interior. Ignition, we have liftoff. Temperatures inside the structure rise quickly as the fire grows. One minute and 14 seconds after the fire was started, the ceiling temperature is 150 Celsius, or 302 degrees Fahrenheit. Only 27 seconds after that, Peter observes the first signs of breakdown in the glass fiber. You're already starting to see some condensation here. Okay, so we're getting some gases coming through, some condensation and other products of combustion coming through the, uh, the glass fiber uh, insulation. At approximately the three minute mark of the burn, the ceiling temperature inside the structure is approaching 800 Celsius or 1,472 degrees Fahrenheit. At three minutes and 23 seconds into the test burn, the glass fiber is clearly melting, while the Roxel mineral wool bat is unaffected. After just over six minutes, the temperature inside has peaked. The temperature is now stabilized inside at 900 Celsius. As the ceiling temperature inside peaks, the temperature on the exterior side of the mineral wool bat remains cool at 40 Celsius, or 104 degrees Fahrenheit. The glass fiber insulation has been completely destroyed. Nine minutes after the fire was ignited, the demonstration is complete. The evidence is compelling. Even though the interior temperature peaks at 900 Celsius, or 1,652 degrees Fahrenheit, the mineral wool lining the interior walls, ceiling, and the opening remains intact, while the glass fiber is gone. 